In order for you to properly grasp Nutrition 101, I want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine. Welcome to the Dr. Mike channel, Dr. Mike's Nutrition Triangle 101 Education Basic thingamabobbits. Basically, I have this triangle set up for you guys so you can understand the three legs that are super, super important when you're talking about eating healthy. Calories. Now, you've probably heard of calories to some extent in the past. The technical definition of a calorie is the amount of energy needed to raise one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Ew. Let's just stick with the idea that calories are a form of energy and it's found in food and your body needs it to function optimally. Jumping back into the macronutrients, starting off with protein. Protein's an incredibly important component of every cell of the body. Hair and nails are actually mostly made up of protein. Protein is a vital macronutrient that your body uses to build and repair muscle, bone, skin, and even blood. Jumping over to fat, I wanna first tell you that I think dietary fats have gotten a bad rap. Dietary fats are essential to give you energy and support cell growth. They also help protect your organs and keep your body warm. And finally, fats help you absorb some nutrients as well as producing some vital hormones like testosterone. Furthermore, fats break down into saturated and unsaturated fats, but that can get controversial and a little complex. So let's save that for the Nutrition 201 video. As for carbs, Carbs break down into three categories, fibers, starches, and sugars. Fiber is an incredibly important component of carbohydrates. Not only does it help your gut bacteria survive and thrive, but it could also possibly curb your appetite, lower your cholesterol levels, decrease some risks of cancer. That's pretty exciting, and that's the part of carbs I really do enjoy. <laughs> we went macro, time to go micro. The third and final leg of our triangle is micronutrients. Here we're talking about vitamins and minerals. Vitamins, classically, you here, vitamin B, C, D, minerals like zinc and iron. These are essential nutrients for our life. If you're low on vitamins, that can hurt your energy levels, your immune system, your ability to clot, and so much more. And if you're low on minerals, your bones won't form properly. You won't grow properly. You could possibly be anemic. This is why these bad boys are so essential. Yes, we want you to lose weight if you're overweight. And yes, we want you to consume less calories. But that's not where the story ends. We need to consider that whole triangle of calories, macros, and micronutrients. In the United States, obesity has become an epidemic. It's actually been proven in the best quality studies. Keeping your weight healthy is one of the most important things you can do to maintain your health, to live a long life,